I, Gopal Krishna Goswami, also known as Gopal Krishna Khanna, son of late Mr. Anand Swaroop Khanna, born on 14th August 1944, and a resident of Iskand Delhi, Hare Krishna Hills, Santanagar, east of Kailash, New Delhi, do hereby revoke all my previous wills or codicils and declare that this is my last will which I hereby make on this 23rd November 2023 at Iskand Delhi, Hare Krishna Hill, Santanagar, East of Kailash, New Delhi. I am a sannyasi and have no dependents. I declare that I am in good health and possess a sound mind. This will is made by me without any persuasion or coercion and out of my own independent decision alone. I appoint Vaishnava Maharaj for India, Janardhan Maharaj for India, Rishi Kumara Das for India, Ambarish Maharaj for Russia and Umapati Prabhu for us East Africa to be the executors of this will. In the event of any of these where to predecease me, then whoever is a survivor among the above will be the executors of this will. I am a trustee of ISKCON India and BBT and a governing body commissioner. I am not a trustee of any other trust except ISKCON Seva Trust, a bureau control trust, an inactive trust based in Delhi set up by the ISKCON Bureau. I have always been loyal to the governing body commission of ISKCON and the teachings of Srila Prabhupada, the founder Acharya of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness as reflected in his books. I would like all my disciples to follow the GBC body. I have never taken one step out of ISKCON and I desire that they render their services in ISKCON and not run here and there looking for some easy way out. The Guru manifests himself in two ways, through Vapu and through Vani. Vapu you may have heard many times is temporary, Vani is permanent. So all my instructions are drawn and therefore reflected from Srila Prabhupada's books. Srila Prabhupada had said, your love for me will be shown by how much you cooperate among yourselves. And my desire from all my disciples is the same, to cooperate among themselves and with ISKCON authority forever. If I were to pass away outside India, I will be grateful if my body could be brought to Vrindavan or Mayapur and kept in Samadhi there. If I were to pass away in North India, Dehradun is North India, I would like my Samadhi to be in Vrindavan. If I were to pass away nearer to Mayapur, I would like my Samadhi to be in Mayapur. There is a plot of land in Vrindavan where my disciples wanted to construct a house for me. I do, did not encourage that. It is my desire that this this particular land should be donated to Iskand Vrindavan for any purpose they may deem fit. I see a different picture of mine in almost every temple where my disciples serve. They can choose any picture they like. This practice can go on after my departure also. I don't really have any assets, cash, bank deposit, lock box, vehicles, stocks or any property in my name. All the properties in the zones managed by me in ISKCON are registered legally in ISKCON's name. And there is nothing in my name except a Rolex watch gifted by Srila Prabhupada in 1977. My laptop and two mobiles. I desire that this watch be handed over to one of my disciples who helped me serving Srila Prabhupada. The laptop and mobiles with all the logins and passwords will be in the custody of whoever will be my secretary at the time of my leaving my body. My clothes and sweaters can be distributed to disciples and other devotees by the team of my assistants. I have not authored any books except some lecture transcripts brought out by different disciples at different places. There is no copyright owned by me on this. My only true assets are my personal deities and I do not want these to be worshipped by any one individual. I therefore desire that my Saligram Shilas and the deities be kept in the altar and worshipped at Sri Sri Radha Pasadhi Temple, Iskand Delhi, Sri Sri Radha Radhikaraman Temple, Iskand Punjabi Bagh and could be divided among other temples in my zones. I desire so as if the deities are part of the temple altar then they will be safe and in case they are worshipped by individuals they could be abandoned. I do keep some little Lakshmi as we describe money to be used in Krishna service for various projects and this could be divided among the different projects which will be ongoing at the time of my passing away. I have one joint bank account along with my disciple Jagannath Priya Das in US 
and this has a balance of $3,000 for the past four years merely to ensure that I have transactions in an American account to secure my green card. I have no personal loans nor do I owe any debts to anyone. But we owe everything to Guru Maharaj. I hereby appoint five doctor disciples who are personally serving me now as attorneys to determine concurrently my medical treatment and personal care in case of my not being in a position to decide. So Guru Maharaj ne panch doctors ka naam bataya hai and we want to sincerely thank from our heart these wonderful doctors who have worked round the clock. Dr. Dwarkadish Das. Dr. Krishna Priyadas. Dr. Advaita Acharya Das from Washington. Dr. Radha Vallabh Das. Dr. Ajay Chaitanya Das. Other than this, uh, Dr. Saligram Krishna Das from Bombay was also involved recently. Uh, but these five have been named by Guru Maharaj. They can take any medical decision on behalf of Guru Maharaj. If I were to pass away, I will be really pleased. The answer is Sunni Avi. If I were to pass away, I will be really pleased and grateful if all the disciples take shelter of one of the senior devotees in this movement without being independent and follow the management system set up and provided by Srila Prabhupada. Guru Mahal says all the devotees, Guru Mahal any bata just the junior devotees, everybody has to take shelter of somebody more senior. I direct that all my disciples shall behave and conduct themselves in the following manner upon my demise. Guru Maharaj ke ye pratyaksh adesh hai, ek ek shishya ke liye. Das pramukh adesh hai Guru Maharaj ke pehla. Always accept His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, Founder Acharya of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, as the preeminent Shiksha Guru for all time. Srila Prabhupada ki? Always accept ISKCON's GBC, Governing Body Commission, as the ultimate managing, management authority of ISKCON, and as Srila Prabhupada's representative, and to therefore follow its instructions and directions. Third point is... Lead your life so as to be exemplary representatives of ISKCON and Srila Prabhupada. Four, cooperate together with all other ISKCON devotees to push this movement forward. Five, when some of you advance sufficiently, Guru Mahaj ka bhoat clear instruction hai. When some of you advance sufficiently to become gurus and sannyasis, to work under the GBC authorized processes to take up those services. Six, Never leave ISKCON. First and foremost, think of yourself as members of ISKCON. Never fight with ISKCON. Resolve your differences internally in a Vaishnava way. 7. Never align yourself with persons or groups not authorized by the GBC. 8. Seriously study Srila Prabhupada's books on a regular basis. Always chant at least 16 attentive rounds every day. Chant at least 25 rounds on Ekadashis and special festival days. And strictly follow the four regulatory principles of no meat eating, no intoxicants, no gambling and no illicit sex. Eight, 9. Work to make ISKCON a dynamic society. 10. Continue donating your time and resources to ISKCON's causes. Or Akri paragraph mein Guru Maharaj is prakar lik rahe I wish to state that all my endeavors as a devotee have been to serve Prabhupada and the International Society for Krishna Consciousness is gone and I have nothing of my own except my deities therefore I further direct that any assets including temples foundations and or, or projects associated with inspired or directed by me or my disciples must for all time remain under the auspices and directions of the GBC who are the ultimate managing authority of his count. Abhi Guru Maharaj bol rahe. Thank you for your service and love for Srila Prabhupada. Serving you has been my privilege. I thank Srila Prabhupada, my spiritual master, the founder Acharya and the preeminent Shiksha Guru of Iskand and a pure devotee of Lord Krishna from the spiritual world for providing me shelter in this house he built for the whole world to live in and desire that all my disciples stay in that house imbibe the highest philosophy of Krishna consciousness and still higher than that practice the philosophy of Krishna consciousness Hare Krishna signature Gopal Krishna Khanna Gopal Krishna Goswami, Sanyasi, Iskon GBC, BBT, Trustee and Chairman, Iskon Bureau, Witness 1, Devinder Vaidya, the Shavatar, 
Prabhu. It is to Rishi Kumaradas. This was registered on November uh, 23, 2023.